Hello everyone, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we will see the start screen on the Windows 10. So we all know that uh, the start screen on Windows 10 is a combination of uh, the start screen uh, what was available on the Windows 7, it was called the start menu and then it is combined with the features of the start screen on Windows 8.1. So we have the traditional start menu uh, along with some of the features of uh, uh, the start screen on Windows 8. So let's uh, see the start screen here. So you can see this is the new start screen. So we have a lot of things to customize on the start screen. So first step, uh, let's see uh, the user account. You can see uh, the user account can be, uh, the account settings can be changed here. You can log the desktop, you can sign out. And below you can see some of uh, the recently used apps. So we can again customize this, we'll come back uh, to this, this option later so these are the recently used apps on your uh, desktop and below you can see the uh, file manager the file explorer you can open the file explorer then you have the settings um, uh, you can also show the gem list in case uh, there is a gem list for this uh, menu then the power options are uh, the normal set of options including sleep hibernate shutdown and restart uh, then you have the all apps list so this is basically the list of all the apps uh, which is which include uh, the modern ui apps uh, the universal apps as well as the desktop apps so you can see here all the apps which are uh, installed on the pc which includes the normal desktop apps as well as the universal apps are listed here uh, you can you can uninstall the apps directly from here you can just see you can uninstall this app so if you right click on any of the universal app and click uninstall it will be directly uninstalled from here while if you right click any of the desktop app this will open the control panel where you can uninstall the apps so that's how uh, the installation work then uh, if you right click any of the app uh, you can see pins to start um, then uh, pin to taskbar or uninstall uh, if you click on uh, any of the desktop app uh, you, you will be getting a different uh, menu we, here we have the uninstall run and run as administrator and open file location these two menu uh, is included here so apart from that you can quickly access uh, uh, the applications using uh, this list you can see here if you click the a or any of the alphabet you can see the list of uh, uh, the all alphabets uh, uh, are listed here and uh, you can uh, you can you can easily access in a particular app from here say for example if you want to access paint you just click p and it will bring up uh, uh, the option here so that's how uh, the options are available on the start screen so you can see here if you just click it will bring up uh, all the apps uh, list here now let's go back and uh, here we have the on the right side of the start screen you have this uh, pinned tiles so these tiles can be rearranged so if you click right click uh, you can unpin from the start a uh, turn off live tile if, if, the, uh, if the tile has uh, uh, live uh, updation option you can turn off or on that option then uh, you have the option to resize you can go to small uh, then resize wide tile uh, you can uh, have a larger tile as well that's a bigger tile uh, available then uh, let's come back to the medium option so these are some of the options available uh, in the start uh, menu so you can uh, see here uh, you can uh, organize this into different categories so you can see here if you click this you can have the option to uh, rename this option this um, uh, group so you can basically group uh, these chart menu items into different categories and uh, have uh, different uh, group set uh, say for example we have this essential group set tools uh, work related apps so this can be customized just then another option with the start uh, screen is that you can resize the start screen you can resize it horizontally or even vertically so you can see i'm just resizing it uh, horizontally and you can also resize it uh, vertically based on how much uh, screen uh, size it has to occupy so that's uh, another useful option now if you go to the settings in uh, start uh, menu so these are some of the settings so you can see here start uh, you can uh, disable uh, show recently used apps so we have already uh, uh, talked about this so this is most used app and the recently added app so these two can be enabled or disabled based on uh, uh, how you want this to show up then you can use start screen uh, as full screen uh, uh, you can see this is just like how it was on uh, the windows 8 so let me just show you that so now you can see this is the full screen menu uh, of uh, the start screen so you can see here if you click on the top it will bring up the same menu and uh, 
you can also uh, view all the apps here so that's how uh, the start menu looks uh, in the full screen mode so if you don't want full screen you can just come back here and disable the full screen mode then I can uh, also show recently opened uh, apps uh, items in the gym list on the start on taskbar you can also show which old uh, folder should appear on the start so basically you can see here right now we have only file explorer settings and power so you can uh, add additional options like uh, your documents your downloads uh, so let's just enable these two and you can see here documents and downloads have been arranged right now here so that can be done uh, from here you can just uh, drag and rearrange uh, these options so uh, which are the options you want you can see videos pictures music uh, personal folder network so lots of options are there so based on whatever you want to show up uh, on the start screen you can enable it from here uh, then uh, going back uh, you can change the colors here so right now it's automatically pick the accent color from my background so right now whatever background is there it's picking up the color from them uh, show colors on task uh, bar uh, start and action center then make the start uh, taskbar and action center transparent so if you just enable this uh, you can see this is changing uh, the color based on the transparency now if you disable this it will go back to uh, the non-transparent or the opaque uh, uh, start screen and if you just enable it back uh, you can see here uh, it will again once so once again be back to transparent so these are some of the options in the start uh, screen on windows 10 so basically it's uh, the lots of things uh, available in the start screen you can uh, group icons so you can uh, minimize or maximize them you can rearrange them you can uh, have uh, live tiles enabled you can also change the size of the tile you can uh, drag and uh, rearrange the start menu uh, vertically or uh, horizontally and also have a lot of options uh, like uninstalling of metro i mean uh, the universal apps uh, from the start menu so these are the options in the start menu on um, windows 10 so uh, basically this is a really uh, improved start menu from uh, uh, windows 8.1 where we had only uh, the start screen and not the start menu like the windows 7 so that's all guys with the start menu on uh, the windows 10 so if you have a windows 10 video so you can just try out some of these features which we have mentioned right now so uh, this this is uh, available in windows 10 and uh, this offers much more features than what we had on windows 8.1 so that's all guys uh, with a quick video on the start screen on uh, windows 10 so hope you like this video if you have any queries drop in a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to your youtube channel for more windows 10 tutorials tips and tricks so stay tuned for that so that's all guys have a great day